Okay, while I'm doing this, while I'm getting shad, I'm still going to leave those rods out there. Been, they've been sitting out there for a good minute, but this shad run out here like it's water. I mean, like it's raining. You can see them everywhere popping. So I'm just going to randomly throw, and I guarantee I'll get some. Ooh, yep, I got a net full of them. Look at that. Look at that. I told you I wasn't lying. Look at that. Didn't take nothing for me to get these. I got to try to get these. I'm going to just lay them right here. Look at that. All the ones that hit the ground, I'm not going to keep. I'm going to throw them back in there because I don't want no dirty shad inside this bag this net that I, I mean this bag that I got. So for an example, all the ones, look at this, see? I'm just gonna scoop them, scoop them in the bag, and then I'm gonna hurry up, cause Chad don't die, Chad don't get bad real fast. So what it is, is I'm gonna go and make a run to John's house, and we're going to uh, put these in, um, they're gonna vacuum sell them. See? Anyone that didn't hit the ground, we're putting here. See? Look at all that. That was one throw. That was one throw. Let's get another throw out there. There's, let's get another throw out there. Shad is nasty. I hate really touching Shad, boy. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Look, we got a couple of them right here that didn't fall. As long as they don't fall on the ground, because I don't want to put these in the bag. Um, with a bunch of dirt and all you gotta do is just look at the water they flickering out the water like like it looked like it's raining let's see let's see all right let me keep my eyes open on where they at right here right here come on come on I just seen them jumping real heavy right up in here. Yep. Let me get this net out here. Right there. Let it hit the ground and pull. Ah. I didn't get a lot right there, but I got some. I did get some. I did get some. Look. I did get some. All right. Let's see if we can get some more. I'm pretty sure one of those is going to fall in the water. But trying to find that school I want that I want that great school see they are they've been all over here I want to get man I got that first school real nice here we go I still see him jumping oh yeah 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 they over here real good let's see I don't want to throw I might want to actually get over no you know what's the best spot just to do it right here yes yes hopefully I get a whole bunch of them Oh, they don't feel tight like it did. I got a few of them. I did get some, yes. I did get a nice amount of them. Not like the first time. That first time was dramatic. First time was real dramatic. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's not a shad. No, yes it is. Come on, get out of there. It's one thing I hate is when the shad decide to get stuck in the net. Like all the places in the world you get stuck in the net. There you go. All right. This thing, I got a stick also stuck in the net. Pay attention right there, right in front of me. I'm trying to be quick about this because they everywhere. And I want to make sure. Let's see. All right. It's a lot of shad out here. See, they, they on the other side of this. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and make the... Just going to go ahead and do it. Right here. They over here. Tons of them. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Yes. I feel them all. Watch this. Yes. 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 You can tell. Look at that. Let me get up here before they start falling out the net. I got a hole in my net. 
So look, watch this. Yes. Here in Toledo or in Ohio, we call it catfish. We call it shag catfish candy. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. I'm not going to keep the ones that hit the ground. I don't want no dirty bag. I want to keep them clean. The ones that's on the ground, I just... I just... Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Come on. I want to try to fill this bag up as much as I can. Look at that. You can tell they were schooling way better than they have the last few days. So all these that fell on the ground, I'm gonna pick these up and we're gonna throw them out. They'll survive. They'll live to see another day. They'll live to see another day. Okay, let's get my hands clean. This is why I needed a bucket. Bucket would have avoided all of this. I would have just dumped them in a the bucket and left. But I can't do that, so I got to do it the hard way. All right, let's get this cast net back out here. I knew I fell in a big school because one thing about cast nets is when you throw them and you start feeling tons of vibration and I'm not talking about I'm talking about like thumps and it feels like something is like rattling inside the inside the string that means you went into a nice school of shad all right let's see let's see I'm sitting here and I'm waiting for them to jump around usually where you see them jump around is where they usually at now, I don't see them up close like I did before because obviously I put the scare down on them. So just wait until they kind of surface themselves back up to the edge, to the surface or shoreline. And then we give a nice toss out there. But yeah, we got some good ones. I'm trying to find a good spot to get this throw on. Oh, here we go, right here, right here, right here. You can see it too, you can see it too. Let's do this, let's get this net out here. You can see where they at too, I'm gonna give it a throw right here. Oh, I messed up, not where I wanted to go. I didn't want to go right there, that wasn't a good throw. I knew I wasn't gonna get no shad, I got one. It's not even worth walking back there. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Right up in here. I'm going to get this far out to that that the last. Yes. Okay, there we go. We got a little few in here. This is enough to really make me walk back. Here we go. Like they can fall out my net because my net got a hole in it. And one of the strings broke so it's not lifting up evenly to close the uh, net in. So I'm pretty much stuck with doing it this way. Now these fell on the ground. Let's get these up right now. Let's not waste no time. All right. All right, let's see if we can find. Man, I want that. I want a school like the last. Here we go. Go this way. We're starting to see a lot of activity over here. Oh, man, it disappeared. Let's just throw. And see what we can get. Ah, that was not a good throw. 
Uh, one, I threw too far. I don't have a super long string on this thing and it closed on me. So now that that happened, I can't even go, can't even throw the cast net right there no more. That sucks. Now I gotta come back over here and get this, get this cast net thrown over here. See right here, you can see them. I'm gonna try to just go straight, straight in front of me. Here we go. Got a few, got a few, got a few. See, I went throwing this cast net the other day and it wasn't nowhere near as many as it was, as it is right now. Okay, there goes another spot right there. I'm seeing them jump crazy. When you see more than one jump in the same area, throw it. Throw it. They are in the school. You don't want to waste no time. Like right here. Just missed my rod. All right. Let's see what we got here. Got a couple. Or was that? Yeah, we got a couple. Oh, no, I didn't want that. No, I didn't want that. Jesus. Let me get these two in here. This is a waste of time right here. They right there. They can keep jumping all they want to. Now I can cast it far. Here we go. Yeah, right there, yes. Oh. oh. All right, got some right here too. Here we go. This is a decent amount right here for sure. Decent amount. Get these from falling. <clears throat> Let me get these from falling. Look at that. See, you know how many shad in there? It's gotta be more than 200 shad. The funny thing about dealing with, they so small. Like right, right now, we don't, right now, usually around this time of the year, you don't really get the big gizzard shad. You get a lot of, uh, of the smaller ones. Unless you out in the lake, you can get them around this time pretty good, see? And also we have to deal with other species like white bass right here. This is a, it's a baby white bass right here. Look at that. Baby white bass. See? Get them out of there. See if we can still find some more. I'm go taking these over John House and we selling them. Let's see. Boy, I done scared them all away. It was worth it because I got my mount. Just want to see another school pile up. I'm going to try to throw it just randomly. Doesn't mean that they're not over there just because they're not jumping right there. All right. Oh, nope. First cast, nothing. First cast, nothing. Isn't that so? They got and spooked him off, y'all. All right. Guess it's all right. Guess it's all right. We got our amount. We got a lot in that Ziploc bag. Trust me. We're going to just separate them and put them in, um, uh, put them in, uh, vacuum seal bags. Let's do that. Let me, let me get some more throws. Oh, right there. Right there. Yes, it didn't close. Thank you, it didn't close. Ain't nothing in there. Look at that, you can tell when ain't nothing in the cast net because it's just too light. If you don't feel no, like, if you don't really feel resistance, right here, right here. I want to hurry up before they, before they run away. Right here, right here, right here, right here. Right there, yup, I got something. Yes, I got something. Yes, I did. I knew I got them. I knew I got some. Man, that was a big thump. That was a pretty decent white perch. Look at that. Huh, he fell off. Yeah, these are these are a little bit these are the kind you really want during this time of year. And we cut them in half and put like 
we either cut them in half and put like three heads on or we don't cut them at all and we just leave them all whole just soon they start jumping around especially in the area that you can actually cast it get it out there whenever they jump they in schools whenever you see them come out they are in schools let's see see if I can get I'm trying to, I'm sneaking up on them I'm sneaking up on them come on now as soon as I see you jump you in trouble especially near yep there we go got lucky I got real lucky with that I got real lucky with that throw I'll be lucky to get any yeah that throw was kind of iffy darn it let's see got to get this lens clean keep it clean up oh, right there right there come on there's a boat that must have passed unless the, yeah come on look at all this wake now and look at that I can't throw it I can't even throw it like that come on you could jump all you want to come on Come on. All right, let's see if any more jump around. This boat gonna destroy it for me though. So what I need to do is hurry up and get. What do we have in here? Nothing. All right, here we go. Got a few out of that. Got a few out of that. I'm trying to sneak up on them, but they've been challenging because I didn't throw this cast net enough to spook them off. See, and this is my three foot radius one. This is, this is small. If I had my eight foot radius one, or my five footer, this wouldn't even be a problem. Or a or a eight footer one, this wouldn't even be a problem. I will have a lot more. And I'm looking, all I wanna do is see him hit that surface. One thing is, Jesus, man. Boy, I tell you, you gotta really all right, let me get. I want to get these shad out of here so we can hurry and get these sealed at a reasonable time. Come on, it's got to be some more left. They all by my rods, man. I can't, can't throw over there. I don't want to cause a tangled mess. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Chilling off at the bottom. Look at that. Chilling off at the bottom. Look at that. Chilling off at the bottom. I only threw right there because I seen that they was trying to kind of jump in the vicinity. I didn't want to. I didn't know for sure, but they were actually hanging on the bottom. Man, boy, my eight foot radius. Uh, I keep saying my eight foot. I only got a five footer and a three footer. But if I had an eight footer. It would change the whole dynamics of the shad. That's too small. I ain't gonna keep that guy. Look at this. See, look, look, now look. 
Look at all this shad I got. Like that is, that's a ton. I don't even think I, matter of fact, no, I think me and John just need to go seal these, seal these, seal these up and call it quits. I got to get these ones off the ground and let them survive. Yep. All right. I don't know, man. Some tell me throw one more time. Just one more. You know what? Forget it. <clears throat> Could never have too much shad. Could never have too much shad. Could never have too much shad. Oh, there go another powder. It creeped up on here. Look at this. They didn't creeped up in here because now they got too much action going on right here. Right in front of me. They bold. They are bold. Yep, there we go. Fill them. Yes, I got into them good. Really good. I got into a mess of them. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. Won't you get a kick out of this? Look at this crap. Look at this. Crazy part is I got a hole in my net. Had I, if I didn't have a hole in my net, I'd be having way more shot. Look at this. I think the safe to say we done. I don't need no more. <clears throat> Wanna hurry up before too many fall back in the water. Look at this. Shad is a hot mess. This is a mess. Just want y'all to know. Whenever you casting out for shad, this is a mess. I uh, mean, a hot, nasty mess. Look at this. Get them all up. Let's get them up. That rain. Rain will kill all the shad off the uh, this rock area. Nobody usually sits on it anyways. They usually just use footy rods and even cut up bait. Well... There we have it, shad, and enough of it. That's what I'm talking about. All right, y'all, let me wash my hands and we out of here.